In this episode of FTD Facts, we're comparing two beefed up helicopters, the much older Mil Me 24 and the Bell AH-1Z Viper. Welcome everybody to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and this is a channel where we educate the world about the world. And this is another military episode, so let's just get right into it. But before I jump into everything, leave a like on this episode if you just love learning about the military, aircraft, helicopters, all that stuff. And if this is your first time here at FTD Facts, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos like this. Okay, let's begin. So the first thing I want to start off is looking at the overview of the Mil Me aircraft. So the Mil Me 24 is also known as the Hind and also it's called the Flying Tank. Yeah, this thing is a beast. It's a helicopter that serves as a transport aircraft, a gunship and an attack helicopter. It's manufactured by Mil Moscow Helicopter Plant and it was produced from the year 1969 up until this present day. There's a total of 2,648 of them that have been built. Its first flight was on September September 19th, 1969, and it was first introduced in service in 1972. Now let's take a look at the Bell AH-1Z Viper. So this is an American twin-engine attack helicopter. It's also called Zulu Cobra. It's based on the military alphabet pronunciation of the letter Z in its name. It's manufactured by Bell Helicopter Textron Inc. and it was produced from the year 2000 up until the present day. There's currently 61 of them built, and its first flight was on December 8th of 2000 and it was first introduced in service in 2010. And now let's get into these specifics to see how these helicopters compare with each other. So for the Mil Me, the Soviet designer Mikhail Leontyevich Mil led the trend of designing flying infantry fighting vehicles which could be used to perform both fire support as well as infantry transport missions. The Mil Me 24's fuselage is heavily armed and it can withstand impacts from 12.7 millimeter rounds from all angles. Its titanium Titanium rotor blades are also resistant to 127 millimeter rounds and the cockpit is protected by ballistic resistant windscreen and a titanium armored tub. The Mil Me 24 has a max speed of 335 kilometers an hour and it has a range of 450 kilometers an hour. When you look at its surface ceiling, this thing can reach upwards to 16,076 feet. Feet. It can hold up to eight men, and looking at the size of this thing, its length is 57 feet 4 inches, its wingspan is 21 feet 3 inches, and the same for its height, 21 feet 3 inches. So now looking at the Bell AH-1Z Viper specs, so you're going to notice that there's certain aspects of the AH-1Z that date back to the Bell 249 back in 1979. The AH-1Z incorporates new rotor technology with upgraded military avionics, weapon systems, and all that good stuff. It also has electro-optical sensors. Its improved survivability can find targets at long ranges away and attack them with deadly precision. It has a maximum speed of 411 kilometers an hour and it has a range of 685 kilometers an hour and its service ceiling a little bit higher than the Mil Me at 20,000 plus feet. However, this aircraft can only carry up to two men. It has a length of 58 feet and 3 inches and its wingspan is 14 feet and 4 inches and that's the exact same for its height as well, 14 feet 4 inches. Now next up, I want to take a look at the armament for these helicopters. For the Mil Me 24, the guns it can carry are the 12.7 millimeter Yukashev Borzov Yak B Gatling gun, and this holds a maximum of 1,470 rounds of ammunition. It also can carry a fixed twin barrel GSH 30K auto cannon and a twin barrel GSH 23L auto cannon. The Mil Me 24 also carries PKB passenger compartment window mounted machine guns. Now for the bombs that it can carry, it can carry bombs within the weight range like the ZAB, the FAB, the RBK, up to a maximum weight of 500 kilograms. Also MBD multiple ejector racks, KGM U2V submunition mine dispenser pods. Now for the Bell AH-1Z, the guns it can carry is one 20 millimeter M197 three barrel Gatling cannon and that holds 750 rounds of ammunition. The rockets it can carry are 2.75 inches Hydra 70 or APK WS2 rockets. It can hold up to 76 on 
guided or 28 guided rockets total. Now for the missiles, it can carry AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles as well as AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-surface missiles. So which countries are using these helicopters? So for the Mil-Me, there's nearly 60 countries that operate the Mil-Me helicopters, some of which include Afghanistan, Belarus, Brazil, India, Indonesia, Iraq, North Korea, Pakistan, Poland, Russia, Syria, Ukraine, the United States, Yemen, and Zimbabwe, just to name a few. Now for the Bell AH-1Z, their operators are just Bahrain, Pakistan, and the United States. So these are how these two helicopters compare with each other. The Mil Me is called a flying tank because it's so hard to shoot down and it's so versatile as it can operate as an attack helicopter and a transport aircraft with ease. And for the AH-1Z, it's the only attack helicopter with a fully integrated air to air missile capability and it travels much quicker at 411 kilometers an hour. So both great helicopters. Let me know which of them you prefer down below. You can also follow me on social media. Those links are below in the video description as well. And it's been awesome learning with you here on FTD Facts. I look forward to see you in another episode where we explore facts and information about something related to the countries of this world. Okay guys, I'll see you real soon. For those of you hungry for even more knowledge, here's a playlist where you can learn a lot more about military aircraft. We also have videos on a variety of topics relating to the military, so stay tuned right here to FTD Facts for new episodes daily.